Okay, welcome to my presentation about promising innovative extension approaches for climate smart agriculture. The aim of this presentation is to illustrate how innovation in agricultural extension and coordination can actually contribute and is already contributing to the three pillars of uh, climate smart agriculture. And I would like to illustrate this based on the so-called PlantWise example. So PlantWise is a collaborative international program which is currently implemented in 34 countries in Africa, Asia and the Americas. And the main aim of PlantWise is to strengthen the capacity of agricultural institution um, and therefore uh, increasing food security. To the outline of my presentation, I would like to talk first a bit on complementarity of three different uh, approaches to extension as they are used in plant-wise. They are, they are called plant clinics, plant health rallies, and mass extension campaigns. Subsequently, I would like to show how they contribute to food security adaptation and mitigation, and a few concluding remarks based on four years of experience in now 34 developing countries in Africa, Asia, and the Americas. Um, Complementarity of extension approaches is very important because what this graph uh, is trying to show is that different approaches to extension have actually a different impact and reach potential. Um, you can see that on the top left side you have all mass extension approaches uh, like radio, mobile services, television, newspaper, and so on, which have a huge reach potential. They can reach thousands and millions of farmers. Uh, but of course, the impact of this approach to extension might, in certain cases, be a bit uh, rather uh, small because the complexity of the extension message that can be given to farmers um, is maybe different comparing to approaches to extension like farmer field schools, which have definitely a huge impact impact on farmer practices, but the reach potential um, is um, uh, smaller compared to mass extension campaigns. Now in plant-wise, we make use of kind of three big categories. So these plant clinics, which is somewhere in the middle in the impact and reach graph, plant health rallies, television, mobile services, and radio, so mass extension campaigns. Um, the plant clinic concept um, is simply a replication of the human health clinic concept. So it's a place where a farmer can go with the problem. He gets advice from so-called plant doctors, which are usually people from the government, from the extension department, from the plant protection division, from whoever has an extension mandate. Um, and it's really a plant clinic is the frontline contact point uh, between extension and, and farmers. Um, so plant doctors, they give information to farmers, but they also systematically collect information from farmers with the so-called prescription sheet so that a uh, country is actually enabled to record data systematically from the farmer to see what kind of uh, plant health problems farmer are dealing with at the moment. Um, plant health rallies um, are complementary to plant clinics in a way that a plant health rally is usually open to everybody. It's held in a public space. It's run by local extension workers, and usually they are used to inform a bigger amount of people about a single topic. Uh, the pictures shows a plant health rally on in, in Ghana, actually, where plant clinics have detected a problem on citrus, and the plant health rally approach has then been used to create awareness among many more farmers on how to deal with this specific problem. Um, mass extension campaigns are then, um, as it says already, they deliver information to a, a, to a large amount of the population so they can reach thousands or millions of farmers. They can be run by non-extension players, what is good in certain countries where there are not enough resources for, for the public extension system. They can make a very good use of modern technology like ICT, mobile phones, and so on. And again, they are very much complementary um, because um, I can give you an example from a country from uh, East Africa. The plant clinics have detected um, 
uh, a certain pest, a tomato leaf miner, which is really a devastating pest affecting thousands of farmers. This pest has been detected at plant clinics. The government has been informed about the presence of this new pest. And then huge mass extension campaigns have been launched to inform millions of farmers about this new, um, this new pest. And this nicely shows how the different approaches are actually complementary. Now, how is plant-wise this integrated approach to extension contributing to climate smart agriculture? Uh, maybe two statements to kind of start a bit. We know that climate change is altering distribution in, in incidence and intensity of plant pests and diseases and already now up to 30 percent of crops are lost to pests and diseases. Now as a consequence of these huge losses are of course a reduction in productivity what has a negative impact on food security but also reduction of the effic efficiency of an entire farming system. This is of course linked to climate change mitigation but also if countries don't have this community surveillance mechanism that clinics put in place, communities, entire communities are much more vulnerable to new uh, pest spread. Now, to going from this more maybe um, theoretical uh, level to a more um, to what Plantwise has achieved in terms of food security, so we have reached probably 5 million farmers by now in 34 countries. Impact studies have demonstrated that uh, up to 80% of the farmer that have visited plant clinics or received information from rallies or mass extension campaign through PlantWise have actually experienced a yield increase. So it definitely has a positive impact on food security. Uh, we are also running so-called uh, long-term impact assessment using mixed method randomized control designs where in Kenya, for instance, we really look at entire um, um, districts where we have no treatment, so no rallies, no um, mass extension campaign, no clinics, and we compare the volume of food produced to districts where we have this uh, integrated approach actually in place so that we can really quantify how much more food we, uh, has been produced due to uh, this uh, complementarity of extension approaches implemented in those areas. Um, in terms of mitigation, um, so PlantWise has contributed to increase the system efficiency by reducing crop losses. So if we reduce the amount of crops that get lost to pests and diseases, we increase the efficiency of a system and of course this uh, then leads to a reduction of a greenhouse gas emission per volume of food produced uh, and therefore it can have uh, both a positive e effect on direct emissions uh, from agriculture but also on indirect emissions since plant-wise is operating on a country-wide uh, based and if we increase food production in a whole country, this of course uh, then decreases the pressure on forest and, and, and grassland and therefore uh, um, the likeliness that agriculture expands is, is smaller. Um, adaptation and resilience, a very important uh, point also for plant-wise, so these plant clinics and the data collected at plant clinics really creates a framework for in-country surveillance through plant clinics and therefore countries are empowered to respond very quickly to new and emerging plant health problems. Um, and also another important point is that the advice given through the through plant wise to these approaches always integrated pest management advice and this decreases the dependency on external inputs like fertilizer um, pesticides and so on and therefore um, farmer are less vulnerable for instance uh, prices are going to change due to market fluctuations in conclusion, um, based on now four years of experience, we can say the plant clinics, they play a central role. It's really, they play a pivotal role, a system, they catalyze the strengthening of the linkages within a national extension system. Um, and also it has been shown in many countries where plant-wise or where clinics, rallies and mass extension campaigns have been completely integrated in the national extension system and countries are paying of course for that so plant-wise is very cost effective and gains substantial in-country financial leverage um, and also plant-wise has a huge potential to go far beyond just plant health 
uh, hum uh, animal health has already been integrated in the approach, but also information on on human nutrition and nutrition sensitive agriculture. All these topics they can be integrated in this innovative framework. Um, maybe just a few pictures to show you kind of the outreach of the program. We have over 1,700 clinics in 34 countries. Over 5,000 plant doctors have been trained. 4.5 to 5 million farmers reached so far. And the global use of uh, the Plantwise Knowledge Bank, which is an online and offline tool where all people in the extension system can really access high quality extension documents. So I thank you very much and I'm happy to take any questions.